by taking a scientific approach and started taking samples um, after these displays that we see in the sky, taking precipitation advance uh, samples, analyzing the particulates that we see in there, and then identifying that the particulates that were coming down in rain and snow were engineered particles uh, of nanometer size, about 20 to 40 nanometers. Which is but a big red flag, is it not? I mean, that's a very big red flag that these are, these are not just standard pollution particulates, they're engineered particles. That's right. Uh, using a high resolution transmission electron microscope, we can easily distinguish and identify things like soot. So it has a very um, distinguishable pattern. It has a little whirl effect at high resolution. But the nanoparticulates that we were collecting in high amounts, in, in pretty large uh, amounts from rain and snow, were on the order of 20 to 40 nanometer particles. They were, when I showed the images that we generated with a microscope like the one behind me here, to the material scientists, they said, oh yeah, those are manufactured particles. I just simply said, hey, what do you think about this, this image? And that image, uh, those images garnered this response from uh, a number of the material scientists here that they are engineered particles, they are synthesized in the laboratory, uh, 